Well, hi there everyone. Um, just want to start off by saying this will be my first ever video. Pretty excited, pretty nervous, and going 100% unscripted, so it could go absolutely terrible. Um, but yeah, I thought, why not start with one of my favourite games to just, especially after a long hard day at work, or given the current situation, if you're seeing this in the future, you'll know. Um, basically, it's been tough for everyone, and I just thought, I'm going to come back to something I always thought was really chill. So, we're going to jump right in, start a new farm. Um, I'm basically just going to do a basic run, I believe, because this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, so... I do enjoy the standard farm anyway. And we're going to go with the name Cody. And it's all about the laid back farm. My favourite thing in the world. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm all about the black cats, got one myself. I uh, have started an Instagram so I can show off random photos of the area that I live in. And of course, my cat. Uh, we're not going to skip intro because first video, let's just do it normal. What I will do though is randomize until I see something I quite like. Uh... Mario. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Mario. Alright. So yeah, not skipping intro. Let's just get right into it. Um, I haven't played this in quite some time. <laughs> I know there's been a couple of updates, but let's uh, see where it goes. Not bad for a dying man to yeet that across the room and land it perfectly in my hands. <laughs> if you only knew. Just move that over there. Ah, Joe <laughs> Jesus, terminated. <laughs> Just in case you weren't aware, he's not here because he's not sick. He's been terminated. <laughs> what? <laughs> I never noticed that before. I don't know if that's new, like, since the latest updates, or if that's always been there, but I've never seen that guy. <laughs> If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. Same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost the sight of what matters most in life. Real connection with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to, the pl to that place. My pride and joy, laid back farm. Even he knew how to chill out. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's a perfect place to start a new knife. New life, not new knife. <laughs> this was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name. Good luck, love, grandpa. Mad love. <laughs> P.S. If Lewis is still alive, 
Say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Maybe. <laughs> On the road again. Tires pop. <laughs> then again, if it's Pam driving. Hello, you must be Cody. I'm Robin, the local commenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. We shall see. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. As if I had a choice. Wow, Lewis, you really outdid yourself on this whole tidying up thing. This slayback farm. Sorry. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Can I just pay someone else to do it? And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Mayor Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. And I do a terrible job. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Really excited. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very... rustic. <laughs> rustic. That's one way to put it. Rusty might be a little more apt, though. Nice respect for the dead there, Robin. Rude. Don't listen to her, Cody. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you'll buy one of her house upgrades. And the look on your face actually means yes. Anyway, you must be tired from that long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and... Introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Alright. Suppose I could stop by. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night. To collect it. Well, good luck. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, day one. And Santa's left me some parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Thanks, Lewis. And let's see how we do it. Yep, yep. So a neutral day. And a bit of living off the land. Huh. Just some info about foraging. So we'll start doing this. Uh, chopping up some of these bits of grass. And some of the wood. If I had the axe out. 
All right, I'm not gonna go two nuts at first because I have 16 parsnips and that's about it. <laughs> and something I have learned about this game is at the start, it's not so much the time that's the problem, it's the energy. Like you have no energy. But what I'm gonna do is get this cleared up, grab some of the wood to make a chest and I'll be right back. Okay, cool. So, I've cleared out a little bit of area, just enough for what I need. Uh, we're gonna make a chest to store a load of our stuff in. Which I am going to put, once I can get hold of it, just there. And for that we're gonna use the grass. And pretty much everything in there for now. And I want to move these around. I don't like that order. There we go. That's more like it. So, let's get to tilling. Tilling and chilling. Yeah. That sounds like an actually pretty good life. Not that one. Okay, now we gotta water these beauties. <laughs> I say beauties, but yeah, this is all I've got at the moment. So we will go foraging and also keeping an eye out for mixed seeds, which are amazingly useful at the start. I only know that because generally I only get to say, I think the longest I've played is end of year one, so it would be nice to actually stick one out for a while see how it goes um i intend to do a lot of sort of <laughs> asking questions um and looking for comments such as who do you think is like the best bachelor bachelorette um and why really because i i see a lot of people say who's the best bachelor bachelorette and then it's just well it's this person but the thing I love about this game is that generally there's a bit of a backstory, like sometimes you have to look for it, sometimes it's obvious. But that's one of the things I like about it. Like, I know for a lot of people they hate Hayley because she seems like such a shallow person, for instance. Speak of the devil. Have a flower. And you're a stupid person, so that's okay. But yeah, so we're gonna start just going down here. Uh, normally, there's some spring onions, little horseradish. <laughs> there you are. Just starting to get the foraging skill up. And always good for energy, which, as you notice already, I've done a few parsnips cleared out a bit of area and I'm basically a walking zombie at this point. There's a Jody? Ah, I still remember. Oh, <laughs> you aren't exactly how I imagined. But that's okay, I'm Jody. What were you imagining? Jason Momoa? Here now. Anyone else want to throw some rude stuff my way? Um, just going to stop off at the beach. There's normally some shells and whatnot. Good for a little bit of money. But I do think what I'm going to do is stop off at Pierre's. Maybe grab a couple of more parsnip seeds. Either that or I think it's the potatoes that grow quick enough before the first event, which is where you can get strawberry seeds, which um, early game is an amazing money maker. So, check some bins, cause you know, soda, soda, whether it comes from a bin. Nice. And what impossible job do they want me to try and do? Yeah, it's everyone's birthday. Oh, doesn't have a job. Cool. 
And Leah. <laughs> you picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Ah, oh, awesome. What's up here? Um, I think I will go with potato seeds. And I can buy ten. Um, I'm gonna keep the food. Always keep one for Linus. He is the absolute mad lad. <laughs> like, out of all the people in this whole town, you can make friends with him by picking up random food off the floor, and he will love you. Uh, let's see. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. All right then, scientist. Let's come up here. There's my boy. How's it going, Linus? A stranger, hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. I will hug you. Yeah. This is a great gift, yeah, thank you. You're more than welcome, buddy. Unlike the rest of them that want, like, foreign objects. By that, I mean the coconuts. Especially, because it... Yeah. Some of the people love coconuts, and it's like one of those things that I can't even get until I get to the desert unless someone sells one accidentally. I can't get up there yet. Um, yeah, so the first couple of days, generally... Quite quiet. Um, not a lot to do, just mostly getting to know the lay of the land. Finding out people, talking to them. Looking for horseradishes. Yes, please. I will eat that. Probably should save some of it, but I think I'll be all right. Plus, I need a little bit of energy for the potatoes. Potato! Now to fight my way through here. Yeet. Nope. Nope. There we go, mix seeds. You'll normally find mix seeds in a certain type of grass, more often than not. They're the ones that sort of look... You've got ones that look like this, and then there's others that look slightly different. i found, anyway, that they tend to spawn a lot more in the odd ones. Okay, so... Since we've already started here, might as well go there. So that's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten. What's the sauce? And I need to grab my boring can again. Throw some of this in there, that clay, grass. And I can pop the random seeds here. Nice. That actually worked out quite well. And will probably be the only thing that works out quite well. Go. Okay. I am a little bit of a hoarder, so I'm going to start by keeping some of these because it's, it's always the case. I'll go to sell it. And then someone will be like, hey, do you have that thing that you sold just last night? So, early game, I always like to just keep everything. <clears throat> it's not great for money making, but to be honest, there's not exactly a lot you need to buy right away. It's not necessary. Uh, let's see, it's 7.30 already. Jeez. And let's have a look. Yeah, okay, back on the farm now. Went out foraging, only really found the one down for deal. Uh, a couple of mixed seeds, so we'll throw those down whilst we're here. Plop them. Lovely plop, there we go. Grab the watering can again. 
Put them. Might as well fill that up whilst I'm here, because otherwise I'll end it again. Uh, let's throw all this in here. And we're good for the day. First day done. Still need to meet a lot of people, but I think I'm going to try and smash that out tomorrow. I'll water the plants. Well, crops. And then I'll just go on a mad lad hunt for everyone else. Well, for now, nighty night. <clears throat> Genuinely perfect time to yawn. <laughs> right, day two, let's get going. Let's check the mail. Hello, I just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something to show you. Willy. Now, I am going to try and keep this whole channel family friendly because I want to be a place for everyone, really. But no guarantees. Though, whilst I'm doing this, I would like to say the whole main reason I wanted to start doing this is one, I love the game, basically. I am quite an avid gamer, all different types from FPS, um, things like World of Warcraft, um, all the way up to obviously Stardew Valley. Um, and some of the communities I have met throughout the time is just wonderful. Some of them, especially the Stardew Valley ones, which is why I wanted to start here are just full of like the loveliest people and I think after the past year all the things that we've had going on I've seen a lot of people that have said about being feeling isolated lonely and whatnot and I just thought well why not create something where there's a community where friendly people can just come hang out even if you don't game yourself maybe you just want to come watch a now slightly overweight guy <laughs> play video games and chat amongst yourselves and whatnot. You know, build up a community of people. I just thought it'd be a nice idea. All right, and with that said, let's get to it. All right, so today I am gonna be doing people hunting. No, I know that sound, actually, after I said that, I realized how bad that sounded. <laughs> Crikey, we're going people hunting. Um. Mostly because I do believe. Oh, aren't you the new guy who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Alright. And this lovely gentleman. <laughs> what? What do you want? Go away! Ah, oh, Shane. Such a rare sunshine. Uh, right. Check bins whilst no one's looking. Find nothing. Awesome. Uh, it's 9.40. That's early enough to go to the pub. No, it's not. Uh, right. Well, let's see if we can meet some people in here. Hello, you must be Cody, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. And I'm in your house. <laughs> Top, yeah, I technically haven't met you. Hey, it's Mr. Cody, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> Doctor's office. Dude. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. And Ned Flanders look alike. <laughs> oh, loads of people. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. 
It's a brave assumption. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Alright, will do. Well, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. There's a lot of things I'd rather call you, but... Can someone bring me a topaz? L Linus, you have no use for a topaz. Yeah, see, I believe there is certain days where in the shop they'll hold certain events like the exercise group and stuff like that. It makes it a lot easier to find some people. Um... Oh, hello. Oh, that's right. I've heard someone was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame. I really enjoyed. Sorry. It's kind of a shame. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Oh. Well, I'll leave some overgrown just for you. Uh, everyone in here I have met. Your gentlemen, let Marnie pass. Also, now I'm thinking about it, I'm also reminded of the farmer from Legend of Zelda, uh, Ocarina of Time. I can't remember his name, but the one who was asleep by the castle who you wake up with the chicken. Kind of looks like him too. So how was your first night in the old cottage? Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down, yeah, she would love that house. I mean, yeah. Um, let's see, who else do we need to meet? Reminding myself that I can check that. Um, yeah, there's still quite a few people. So, we'll start from top to bottom. That's just the way I like to work it. So... We know that that one lives with the elderly people. There you are. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. George! <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. What's up? Jesus, feeling the love. I'm so gonna love it here. Uh, right, let's see who's next, because I just, I just kind of want to get this done and out of the way. Um, Shane and Clint. There we go. Is the old forge? Howdy doody, Clint. Um, hi, I'm Clint. I'm Cody. I'm the town's blacksmith. If you ever need if you need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. True. You are also the only choice. So, let me check your bin. <coughs> oh, a geode. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh no, no, I won't take it to Clint. So I have no monies. Though I do need to go see Willy. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Nice to meet you too, buddy. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out at the salty seas. It was a big hole. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. 
<coughs> Sorry. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. And so the torment began. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. <laughs> or I'll sell to you a lot. He received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. <coughs> oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old papa used to say anyway. I know where I'm bringing my old socks. But yeah, let's uh, give it a whirl. Now, I remember the fishing on this tends to be a little bit awkward at first. Boy, oh boy, I can't wait to miss every fish. All right, this is obviously the easy one. Come to Papa. Thank you. And a sunfish, that's actually pretty good, because if I remember rightly, that's on the community checklist anyway. So I'll keep that. And it's a mm, silver quality. Whilst I'm here, let's see if there's any more shells. No, but there is a worm plot. Trilobite fossil. Wait up, wait up, wait up. Ah, the new farmer. We've all been expecting. And whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in a little cabin on the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, we'll probably never talk again. And I know I said the name a little bit weird there, but I just picture that's how he'd say it. Uh, so now I'm just going to go for a bit more foraging. And by foraging, I mean emptying out your bins, bread. And some green algae. That's not too bad, actually. Anyone home? No one locked their doors in this town. Uh, we've met everyone from there. We haven't met the kids that live there. Well, let's just pop down and grab some more of those spring onions. Hopefully they would have grown some more. Nice! And some gold one. Well, what I'm going to quickly do is run over to the library so I can donate to the museum. And I will be right back. Ah! It appears because I stopped to be polite and say hello, I have missed the time for the library. So we'll be doing that tomorrow instead. Uh, for now, what I think I'm just going to do is maybe go around, check out any more forageables because I know there's a one or two more bins. Stop off, say hello to my main man Linus. Maybe do a bit of fishing up by the lake up there. And then we'll call it a day, but I'll be back in a sec. Linus! Ah, there you are. There you go. Have a great gift. I uh, don't really need that, so I'm just going to numb that. Get a little bit more energy. And same with the algae. And just for the next few minutes, I'm just going to do a bit of fishing. Mm -hmm. 
hopefully we'll catch something. There we go. Only 30 minutes of in-game time. Yeah, see what I mean? This is a, it's a very tricky fishing game compared to some others. But once you get it down, you're pretty good. Any other fish? Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, a car. Oh, I have no room. This is why I really want to save up to get the new backpack, because having just one line of inventory is just not enough. Come along here, as it is slightly quicker route to get home. No, uh... Oh, chub. I'm just gonna eat that. There we go. Now we've got two things that we can take to the museum, and possibly a third one, depending on what's inside that geode. If I could stop getting stuck on things. I'm just gonna pop some stuff in here. I will make a second chest, and generally I make about three. One for like plants and stuff, one for fish and one for mining. Uh, but for now, we're just going to throw everything into the one. Um, except for the things that I am going to want. But yeah, that'll be like the first two days. I'm going to try and sort of make a video. First couple of videos will probably be the first couple of days throughout the first week, just to get the whole thing rolling. Um, and then later on, I'll probably sort of mash together a few more days into one episode. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you've got any tips, that would be absolutely grand. I would love that. Um, and yeah, what I'm going to be starting doing is starting off by asking a question at the end of every episode. Just get your thoughts and opinions on something. Like, for instance, what if you had to do one job housework wise, which is your favorite and why is it washing up? I don't know why, I just find that a little bit satisfying. Well, till laters, this laid back Kodiak is going to go to bed.